Relative rotation graphs are plotted on a standard scatter plot canvas with an x-axis, horizontal, and a y-axis, vertical. The JDKRS ratio indicator is the input for the horizontal axis. And the JDKRS momentum indicator is the input on the vertical axis. These axes cross at 100 to create four relative performance quadrants. The relative rotation graph simply plots RS ratio and RS momentum values for each symbol. If the symbol universe is the 9 sector SPDRs and the S&P 500 is the benchmark, we will see 9 points on the relative rotation graph, RRG, and each point represents that particular sector's RS ratio and RS momentum value. The relative rotation graph is shown above with four possible combinations. Let's assume we are using the nine sector SPDRs as our universe and the S&P 500 as the benchmark. A sector is in the leading quadrant, green when RS ratio and RS momentum are above 100. A positive RS ratio indicates an uptrend in relative performance and positive momentum means this trend is still pushing higher. A sector is in the weakening quadrant, yellow, when RS ratio is above 100, but RS momentum moves below 100. A positive RS ratio indicates an uptrend in relative performance. But negative momentum means this uptrend is stalling or losing power. A sector is in the lagging quadrant when RS ratio and RS momentum are both below 100. A negative RS ratio indicates a downtrend in relative performance and negative momentum means this downtrend is still pushing lower. A sector is in the improving quadrant when RS ratio is below 100. But RS momentum moves above 100. A negative RS ratio indicates a downtrend in relative performance but positive momentum means this downtrend is stalling or potentially reversing.